What's up Legionnaires? Well, we finally got the new Legion Space update. In today's video, we're going to be breaking down this update. We'll also have a link in the description as to where you can actually download this update if that's something you guys were interested in. So make sure you hit the like button, subscribe to the channel. Let's get right into this video. So the first change that comes with this update is here in the setting menu, you can actually update your drivers. So you come here, you go to check for updates and it gives you all of the latest drivers that you can update. I can't tell you how helpful this feature is. And this is a requested one by the community. So it's pretty cool to see this one available for the Lenovo Legion Go. So here we have the latest update. We have an audio driver update, a WLAN update that we can download, Bluetooth driver that we can download. And you can go down, you can even see, you can download the latest BIOS, which I already have installed. So again, this is a welcome feature for the Lenovo Legion Go. So the next feature added in the performance tab, you can actually customize the fan curve here. So, so you can come here, you can play around with it. So that's a requested feature. So it's pretty cool to see that. You can mess with performance. You can go to power saving and custom and just set this the way that you want it, which I think is absolutely incredible. So you can come here to custom and you can just mess around with the different fan curves. So this is a welcome feature and I think a lot of people are going to be happy with this one. And the cool thing about this is that if you push the quick set and tab to and come to performance, you can actually see the fan curve here that you have customized or what you're using, it shows you. So I think this is pretty neat. So the other change that comes with this is you can actually lock your FPS now. So if you go to FPS limiter here, you can turn it on and off. And with this, you have 40, 50, 60, 90, 120, and 144. Again, this is something that a lot of people have been requesting and it works really well. And if you open up the quick setting, there's actually a little toggle for you to do that here as well. So again, you hit this and you can just adjust it from here as well. So again, this is a welcome feature and it's pretty neat to see this one make it too. All right, so let's go to controllers. We have a lot of changes here, so let's break these down. The first being controller hibernation, you can actually set when you want your controller to sleep or wake. So again, these limits here, this five minute, 10, 15, 30, 45, 60 minutes. So again, this is pretty neat. And there's also a toggle at the quick set and menu to where you can adjust this on the fly too. All right, so back to controllers here. So I don't know if this was here previously, but you can actually customize your back buttons. I think this was here, but just want to highlight this as well. Your Y321s and your M12s, you can now customize it. So also you can adjust dead zones. Again, just want to highlight this. This was probably previously here. The big one does adjust sensitivity. You can now restore it back to default. I know this is something that people complained about previously. You can actually control your trigger travels here, your left and right triggers. So again, you can restore this to default. So if you need to make some changes to that, you can as well. But yeah, those are the main difference that comes with the control. Now, when it comes to customization, this customization now to where these different light and effects, I know these was here, but I feel like we have more when it comes to blinking. It seems like you can now change the colors that you want it to blink with and how fast. Again, this might be here previously, but I feel like the biggest one here is the power button. You can actually turn that light on and off here. So again, this is one that has been requested from the community because again, going to bed, this can be something that is a headache seeing that power light always on. Another thing that was added is eight additional languages. So Greek, Russian, and more was added here. So again, We'll scroll down, you can see a lot of other different languages added here. So again, this is pretty neat because this device is global. All right, fellas, that's it. When it comes to the Legion Space update, we have a lot of cool features here. And again, shout outs to Lenovo for just listening to community and making this happen. Again, the link will be in the description. If you guys were interested in downloading this one for yourself, appreciate you guys. We'll catch you guys in the next one. Until next time, peace out.